Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics, unit two, lesson eight, similar triangles. Problem number one, in each pair, some of the angles of two triangles in degrees are given. Use the information to decide if the triangles are similar or not. Explain how you know. Triangle A, 53 degrees, 71 degrees, and an unknown angle. The sum of all three angles will total 180 degrees for all triangles. So 180 degrees minus 53 degrees equals 127. 127 degrees minus 71 degrees equals 56 degrees. The angle measures are 53 degrees, 71 degrees, and 56 degrees. Triangle B also has the same angle measures. These triangles are similar because they have the same angle measures. Triangle C. 90 degrees, 37 degrees, and an unknown angle measure. Triangle D, 90 degrees, 53 degrees, and an unknown angle measure. Remember, the sum of all three angles will total 180 degrees. 180 degrees minus 90 degrees equals 90 degrees. 90 degrees minus 37 degrees equals 53 degrees. So it turns out that triangle C's angle measures are 90 degrees, 37 degrees, and 53 degrees, and triangle D has the same angle measures. These triangles are similar because they have the same angle measures. Triangle E, 63 degrees, 45 degrees, and an unknown measure. Triangle F, 14 degrees, 71 degrees, and an unknown measure. These triangles are not similar because they do not have the same angle measures. Triangle G, 121 degrees and two unknown angle measures. Triangle H, 70 degrees and two unknown angle measures. If these triangles were similar, that would mean that they would each have angle measures of 121 degrees and 70 degrees. So they're not similar because the sum of 121 and 70 is greater than 80. So it's impossible for any triangle to have angle measures 121 degrees and 70 degrees because it would total more than 180 degrees. Problem number two, A. Draw two equilateral triangles that are not congruent. The angle measures must be 60 degrees to be equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangles that are not congruent must have different side lengths. Here are two different equilateral triangles. They both are made up of 60 degree angles and their side lengths are of different lengths, making them not congruent. B. Measure the side lengths and angles of your triangles. Are the two triangles similar? The two triangles are similar because all their angles are 60 degrees and their side lengths are proportional. C. Do you think two equilateral triangles will be similar always, sometimes, or never? Explain your reasoning. Equilateral triangles are always similar because all equilateral triangles have equal angle measures. Problem number three. In the figure, line BC is parallel to line DE. Explain why triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. The two triangles are similar because they have equivalent angle measures. Problem number four from eighth grade Unit 2, Lesson 4. The quadrilateral PQRS in the diagram is a parallelogram. Let P prime, Q prime, R prime, and S prime be the image of PQRS after applying a dilation centered at a point zero, not shown, with scale factor three. Which of the following is true? I think it sounds more confusing than it really is. There's a few things that are important to note. That P prime, Q prime, R prime, and S prime is a dilation of P, Q, R, S, and it has a scale factor three. Let's take a look at A. P 
P prime Q prime equals PQ. So these are line segments. So we know that it's a scale factor of three. Line segment P prime Q prime would be three times longer than line segment PQ. So they are not equal. B. Line segment P prime Q prime equals three times line segment PQ. That is true. C. Line segment PQ equals three times line segment P prime Q prime. That is false. And finally, D. Cannot be determined from the information given. That's also false. They gave us enough information to determine if the statements are true. The only true statement is B. Problem number five. From eighth grade unit one, lesson six. Describe a sequence of transformations for which quadrilateral P is the image of quadrilateral Q. Translate Q, three units left, five units up. Rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. 